Hi Sag, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekend reading. This is for November 3, 4, 5, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Just to let you guys know, I'm not accepting any personal reading until I finish all the readings. When I start to uh, to do personal reading again, I would screen it. I won't read for no for you know for whatever reason anymore. I'm done with that. Nope. Okay, so <laughs> has to be screened. And a thoroughly screened the situation. Okay. So here we go. Let's see what's going on for the Sag. Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weekend. This is your secret soulmate. We're going to look at a situation that you're in, and then following that in our extended reading, things that you didn't know about the soulmate, um, so that it can help you with your judgment. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Sag. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Here we go. You have your Page of Pentacles. Um, page of Pentacles is an energy where, one, it's a page, so it's a messenger. <laughs> so you could probably get a message from this person. But I'm sensing here this is someone who wants to be creative with the connection. You want to do a lot of stuff with the person that you are um, trying to connect with. Meaning, oh, let's do this, let's do that. You know, but it's all about creating also. Uh, maybe, uh, how to say this? Um, I don't know what kind of classes that you, you can get involved with. You know, cooking class, pottery class, any class. Normally is a page of Pentecost from what I'm sensing here. So you want this person to be part of your group, but couple group, you know. Maybe even just traveling, long, uh, you know, road trips. That's a couple energy. So this is what I'm sensing that you are doing to this person, or it can be this Earth sign is trying to do. Uh, can be younger than you also, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn Sag. Okay. Woo! Love it. Four of Wands, guys. Energy is stable. Relationship can manifest for some. Four of Wands is the you know the celebration that you guys are finally together. May have started with a Page of Pentacles can be an engagement in that side and this is not a relationship coming okay or this already congratulations if you are okay this is being triumphant being successful with what you have started foundation is there the harvest was you know has come which is a three of you know three of ones is ex expectation for things to come and it's here okay very very good energy can be with a fire sign as well this fall for some of you Sagittarian will get so much blessing I'm sensing here this fall for some okay Ooh, and we have here okay let me see oh, well it has to go here you have here the king of swords you can be connecting with an air sign or the logic in the connection that you guys have is mm, very very clear no miscommunication um the person that you're connecting can be an Aquarius Gemini Libra and person can appear to be cold when they communicate with you and they tell you what they want when they want it and it has to happen they're not controlling they're just direct but i think sagittarian you would accept you would appreciate this because you are direct as well but underneath the king of swords is the magician so the magician's energy is like they are trying to do everything either to be with you they're trying they have all the right tools and everything right so the tools that i always see when you're connecting with your soulmate over here is that things that resonate with you. So think of the things that resonate with you. Um, this can be the stuff that you like, your favorite stuff. Normally that's that's the magician how, how they work. The favorites, okay? Oh, they like their fa this favorite chocolate. Oh, they like this favorite, uh, this, this particular restaurant, this particular thing, or it's the iPhone X, who knows, <laughs> okay? But this is the way that this person manifests okay because remember the magician is a manifester and a doer so they think hardly with the king of swords on how to manifest a stronger foundation in the relationship or in the connection that you guys have very very good underneath the page of pentacles we have here nine of swords um the situation that you are in also is has a lot of deep thinking um you never know when it's gonna start you never know how it's gonna progress um, you don't know if there is even a hope. Okay? That's the Nine of Swords energy. This sleepless nights over here is like someone who wants to give up already. Someone who just can't have, you know, like I can't have any more of this. But I'm sensing this is not the person's energy. This can be your own energy who is who is wanting, who is giving up on love. I don't think that you should because there's someone here. Okay? So the Nine of Swords is giving up. This is going to be like a very, very down energy. Don't go there. Don't go there. Okay? You see, underneath the four of ones is the justice card. Okay? The justice card is about Baxter. Come on. 
Okay, stay here. Good boy. Okay, so um, the justice card over here is all about um, is all about you know maybe someone is in a relationship, but this is a marriage also because this is not divorce. This is someone who might get married soon with a justice. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, my puppy is here. Okay, just come here. So that you, it's weird. I just noticed that. Okay, so <laughs> okay, yeah, because or else it's gonna keep barking. It's gonna be a problem. Okay, it's gonna distract me. So this can be marriage soon. Excuse you. <laughs> this is gonna be a, a marriage soon. Okay, putting things into contract into detail. Can be your soulmate is stressed about that. Can be you know that it has manifested too fast too strong too you know too soon even because remember you started with a page and then you wind up with all these legalities you wind up with this connection you wind up with a, you know a good energy and it happened instant so the stress here is real the stress here is pressure okay that's what that's what this person is feeling or you're feeling in the situation that you guys are in can be an air sign a water sign or a fire sign okay so Sagittarian, I'm going to continue this reading with what you don't know about the person that you're dealing with, the secret soulmates. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll see you guys again. Bye!